What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, you will learn about various database structures such as structured versus semi-structured versus non-structured databases, relational databases, and non-relational databases. Uh, so there are three different types of data structures. You have structured, semi-structured, and non-structured. So we're going to go ahead and talk about structured data. A structured database is divided into rows and columns. So think of data in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The header row is the equivalent of the fields in a structured database, and each row is equivalent to a record. Data mining is used on structured databases to find patterns, establish relationships, and forecast future trends. It provides the information needed for data analysis. Although structured data is an excellent way to store some types of information, such as names, phone numbers, addresses, etc., it is not suitable for everything. Next, we have semi-structured data. Semi-structured data is a form of structured data that does not obey the formal structure of data models associated with relational databases or other forms of data tables, but nonetheless contains tags or other markers to separate elements and enforce hierarchies of records and fields within data. Instead of using rows and columns, semi-structured data uses elements and hierarchies. By using tags, it's easier to store nested lists of varying lengths that it would be that that it would be with a relational database. Two common types of semi-structured data include XML or extensible markup language and JSON or JavaScript object notation. Also, JSON is often used for transfers between web servers and apps. XML can be easily converted to JSON and JSON is supported by a number of so-called no SQL non-relational database apps as well as recent versions of relational databases. One of the reasons that JSON is becoming popular is that it is more flexible than structured data. With structured data, changes in the database schema or the design or data stored in the database itself can take a lot of time to make. JSON enables quick changes in data and how it is stored. So you're looking at a screenshot of a JSON viewer. Nothing real important going on here as far as this exam is concerned. It's just giving you a look in how it structures data in a hierarchical method. Non-structured data, which is also known as unstructured data, is information that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner. Non-structured data is typically text heavy, but may contain information such as email, word processing documents, presentations, instant messages, and others that are not stored in a data structure. Techniques such as machine learning and semantic technology are used by data analytics. Data analytics apps to analyze the text in unstructured data for meaning and information. Relational databases is a type of database that stores and provides access to data points that are related to one another. Relational databases are typically accessed using SQL or structured query language. The essential elements of a relational database includes the schema, tables, fields or columns and the constraints. Let's talk about the schema. The database schema of a database is its structure described in a formal language supported by the database management system or the DBMS. The term schema usually refers to the structure of a database as described either in text or graphically. The logical database schema defines the database structure or the tables, the views and integrity constraints, whereas the physical schema deals with how the data is stored and indexed. The schema is normally stored in a data directory. The database schema must be carefully planned before you begin to import or enter data into the database. Changing the schema after data is present requires a number of steps to avoid data loss. Tables. A table is a collection of related data held in a table format within a database. It consists of columns, which are vertical, and rows, which are horizontal. Each column has a label. Any specific table has a specific number of columns, but the number of rows varies according to the amount of data in the table. Rows and records. Each row in a table is a record in the table. 
fields and columns. In a standard table view, each column is a field. Some columns are called key fields. You have a primary key. A primary key contains a unique value for each row, such as a user ID. Each table must have a primary key. Then we have a foreign key. A foreign key relates or links two database tables together. A foreign key can be more than one column and it must be present in both database tables you are trying to relate. The foreign key in one table must be the primary or candidate key in another table. A candidate key is one or more columns that contains information unique to each record and doesn't refer to any other data. If a key is two or more columns, it is known as a composite key. Constraints. So constraints are properties assigned to a column or set of columns that define what type of data can be placed in the column. Constraints are used to prevent inconsistent data and to enforce data integrity. Constraints are not the same as data integrity settings, but are set up at the same time when an SQL database is being created. The following is a partial list of SQL constraints. You have check that determines the that determines that all val values in a column satisfy specified conditions. You have default that uses the provided default va value of a column when no value is specified in a record. You have the foreign key, a unique identifier for a row or a record in another database table. Index uses a specified field for faster search and retrieval. Not null prevents a column from having a null value. Primary key, unique identifier for each row or record in a database table and unique requires that all values in a column be different. Let's talk about non-relational databases. A non-relational database is a database that does not incorporate the table key model that relational database management systems promote. These kinds of databases require data manipulation techniques and processes designed to provide to provide solutions to big data problems that big companies face. The most popular emerging non-relational database is called NoSQL, also known as a flat file database. This type of database stores information in a single database, which eliminates the need to relate multiple tables together. However, this type of database requires the designer to manually program the steps in a transaction, whereas transactions are easier to do in an SQL database. There are two types of non-relational databases. You have a key value and a document database. Key value databases. So a key value database or a key value store is a data storage paradigm designed for storing, retrieving, and managing associative arrays and a data structure more commonly known today as a dictionary or hash table. Dictionaries contain a collection of objects or records, which in turn have many different fields within them, each containing data. These records are stored and retrieved using a key that uniquely identifies the record and is used to find data within the database, key value, um, key value databases, they also support nested values as well. You have a document database, a document database, which is also known as a document store or a document oriented database is a computer program designed for storing, retrieving and managing document oriented information, also known as a semi structured data such as uh, XML or JSON. A document database is a collection of documents and a way to query the contents of the document database. Along with key value stores, a document database is one of the major types of NoSQL non-relational databases. A document database can store many types of information about documents in the database, such as title, author, keywords, etc. So just think of this as you're going on to barnesandnobles.com and you are entering information to help you find a book based off of the keywords uh, or based off of the, the title, the author and, and some keywords and things of that nature. All right. So anyways, that is our short little class here on databases. So let's do some check on learning. First question is. Which type of database is designed to work with XML database or data? Would it be SQL, non-relational, relational, or any of the, the above? So which one is designed to work with XML data? The correct answer would be 
Non-relational databases are designed to work with XML data. Question number two. Data stored in rows and columns is an example of which type of data? Would it be non-structured? Would it be structured? Would it be semi-structured? Or would it be a document? So data stored in rows and columns is which uh, an example of which type of data? The correct answer would be structured. It would be structured data or structured database. Final question. Which term refers to the structure of a database as described either in text or graphically? Would it be big data? Would it be data analytics? Would it be data mining? Or would it be schema? So which one refers to the structure of a database described in either text or in graphics? That would be a schema. A schema is the correct answer. So that is pretty much it. So we have talked about various data structures where we talked about structured versus semi-structured versus non-structured databases, relational databases, and non-relational databases. So if you want more information on this to help you get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass your CompTIA IT fundamental certification exam, please visit my website, technologyg.com. So you can get caught up to date. And with that, I will see you guys on the next video. So peace.